moves to CBS 4's Gary Nelson, who's live in Southwest Miami Dade, with reaction from Cuban American members of Congress. Gary. Well, just a short while ago, members of Congress from the Cuban American community said they will do all they can to block further expansion of U.S. Cuba relations. And indeed, any changes to the Cuban Adjustment Act would require an act of Congress. While these Congress people were condemning this new embassy opening today, so were some folks in Little Havana. In Little Havana, a loud crowd of about 20 or so gathered, shouting angrily at the Obama administration, outraged at this. The Cuban flag raised above the communist nation's just opened embassy in Washington. The Obama administration didn't take any concessions from the Cuban government. They're still political prisoners. There's no freedom in Cuba, and yet the United States is just turning its back on all those people. They believe the eased relations are a lopsided deal that won't help the Cuban people, but even a longtime hardliner had a backhanded compliment for new bonds. It's always nice to see two enemies become friends. Cuba has opened to the United States, but has not opened to the Cuban people. In West Miami Day, a trio of Cuban American members of Congress condemned the detente with the Cuban regime. The Cuban people's oppressors uh, will not hesitate to use this embassy as a spy hub, uh, as they have done in the past, to uh, threaten our homeland. FIU Cuba expert Dr. George Duaney said a half century policy of isolationism against this island just hasn't aided the people there. You have to have more engagement, more contact, more trade and tourism and communication in order to promote uh, those same changes on the island. And some younger Cuban Americans support reaching out if it will help achieve freedom. If putting the embassy in, in the island is going to move the country towards that direction, then yes, I'm all for it. Indeed, eased relations seem to have bolstered government opposition in Cuba. Scores of dissidents took to the streets Monday demanding the release of political prisoners, seeking the same things these protesters in Miami want. Now, Cuban Americans in Miami-Dade County who oppose normalization, normalization of relations with Cuba are, in fact, a pretty small minority. Florida International University conducted a poll of 1,000 Cuban Americans in Miami-Dade County. Two-thirds of them support normalizing diplomatic relations. We're live in West Miami-Dade. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.